Hello everybody and welcome back to One Take SSR Vlogs number four. We're foreign. It's pretty crazy that we're already foreign, but I'm loving this book, so I love to talk about it and I love doing these, so that's great. Um, okay, so on the agenda today, let's do a plot summary. So right now, McMurphy has finally convinced um, Big Nurse and kind of the whole asylum to go on a fishing trip. I don't really know how he convinced the Big Nurse to let that happen, considering that seems extremely dangerous, but only the acutes are allowed to go, plus just um, Chief Brandon, um, because he's deaf. They don't really consider that too much of like a hindrance or danger that he would fall in the water. But they got on the fishing trip and it's pretty sketchy considering they basically pirated the boat and stole it. And I guarantee when they get back to the asylum that that's going to be a big problem that Big Nurse has with McMurphy. Hopefully he doesn't really suffer too much consequences from that. But I love that they're actually like having fun and it's kind of um, Chief Bromden is actually talking. He talked with um, McMurphy and it's kind of crazy that he was willing to open up to him um, and kind of give away that he's not actually deaf um, to him because he trusts that he won't really tell anybody or kind of, he, he, he kind of knows that Mick Murphy will uh, get it. Um, in terms of the review, I'm loving how it's going so far. I, this book is amazing. I love the characters. I love the development of the relationship between Chief Bromden and um, McMurphy and I'm ex really excited to see what happens after this fishing trip because I imagine it's going to have a lot of consequences for McMurphy and everyone involved because I mean they went along with it. Um, current character, I mean I put this in the agenda because I thought that my favorite character was going to switch a lot throughout this book but once again it's McMurphy. I mean I like Chief Bromden a lot more now after the scene where um, he finally talks but McMurphy is just amazing I mean everything he does every every action he makes is exactly what I'd want him to do that's why he's my favorite um he's just perfect I I love like his plan of just I want to go into an asylum just to see if I can get out that's just an insane concept to me um literary elements once again the idea of freedom I mean even Chief Bromden kind of talking with, with McMurphy again emphasizes the idea that he wants to be free uh, and he wants to, they just want to do something. And kind of the whole, even the people in the asylum, all of them want to be out of the asylum. No one really wants to be in there. They just are because they think that they can't stop Big Nurse and McMurphy is kind of a symbol of freedom in in itself because he's constantly encouraging the others to challenge ideas that they don't think are fair if they don't want something going on they're the residents at the asylum they should be the ones that have a say in what happens um kind of why the fishing trip takes place he says they want to fish, and truly, a lot of them do. I mean, it's shown when George basically captains the whole ship. I just think it's really cool how freedom plays a lot in the development of freedom as well, how each character kind of becomes more comfortable with wanting a cause and fighting for it and not just letting Big Nurse say what happens to them. Um, so that's a big thing. And also just kind of like being true to yourself. Uh, you can definitely see that happening with uh, Chief Bromden and McMurphy when they talk during night. Um, you can kind of see Chief Bromden has never really talked to anybody in that asylum yet. So when that happened, it was kind of the idea that like he's actually being who he wants to be and not really being afraid of all these people uh, worrying about if he talks. Um, and also, he never really thought that people wanted to listen. So just the fact that he was able to open up to McMurphy is just really great to see and kind of shows uh, once again how McMurphy is just a symbol of freedom and uh, being who someone actually is. Um, prediction of future stuff, well, here's the thing. This fishing trip, not only was it sketchy for a big nurse in the first place, they stole the boat that they were going on, which 
I don't think that that's going to end in any sort of good way with McMurphy, considering he's the one that commanded them to steal the boat. So I imagine that when they get back from this trip, that big nurse is going to send him to the disturbed or do some kind of shock therapy with him because he did something illegal in any sense. I mean, regardless of them being in an asylum or not, stealing a boat and going out is illegal. So he's definitely going to have to suffer a lot of consequences, but... I really hope that in the end, all of them become free because that kind of seems like that's slowly becoming a thing and he's slowly convincing them. So I really hope that that's how it ends up being, all of them escaping. But yeah, that was SSR one take vlog number four. And there's one more after this, number five I'm gonna do when I finish the book and kind of review the whole thing as a whole. So look forward to that and see you guys later.